I mean, I'm like the messiest chef on the planet. <laughs> chef, that was funny. Whoopsies. Whoa. Oops, that's a tablespoon. Um, now what do I do? Okay, so I have been making the same, you know, three to five soups the last year and a half, and it is time to change up the flavor for profile. I found tomatillos at the grocery store, and I made this a couple days ago, and it was delicious, so I thought I would, would do a video and show you guys how I made this tomatillo chicken soup. First, uh, set your oven to 350, and then peel these guys. So I'm gonna stick these guys in here. First time I made it, I had a jalapeno pepper um, that I threw in there with them. While the tomatillos are roasting for about a half hour, we're gonna saute onion and garlic. I'm not doing the knife skills right, but it's just because it's so boring to do it correctly. I like to keep the bits for, I'm making a broth over here with last night's roasted chicken. About a tablespoon or two, of everyday olive oil. Okay, so now I'm gonna add, hold on, what is this? Now I'm gonna add onions, whoa, that is hot oil, and garlic. And you can even add them whole because you're gonna blend it up anyway, guys, don't worry about it. Whoa, that is hot. So this is a can of Hatch Green Chilies, which I've never used before. And I don't know if you drain it or not, but I'm just gonna put it all in. I don't think you do. Okay, so we have onion, garlic, and hatched chilies all been sauteed. Now I'm gonna add four cups of broth. Now this is my own bone broth, not my own bones. Each jar is three cups, so I'm kinda just gonna eyeball it. And uh, three, yeah, that's about four. So now I'm gonna put a, a teaspoon of cumin now I think I'm put, I'm doing cumin seeds, which I think is okay since it's gonna get blended. Um, I think, and uh, then I'm gonna add my chicken to poach it actually in this broth. We roasted chicken last night, so I already have chicken, so I'm not gonna actually cook it. I'm just gonna throw it in there to to mix it with everything. While you're waiting for the tomatillos or for your chicken to cook, this is when I do my garnishes. <laughs> I'm gonna do tomatoes, yellow peppers, and I might even do cilantro, or celery for crunch, in addition to cilantro and sour cream. Oh, you could add tortilla chips, yeah. Tortilla chips. Okay, I think the tomatillos are ready. It's been about 25 minutes, and they are soft and have a little brown on them. So now we're gonna take our food processor, and we don't have an actual one, we just have like this little mini ninja, but that's fine. And we're gonna blend it with cilantro, a quarter cup of cilantro, but we have to do it in batches, so I'll just go like this. So, now I'm gonna put it with the sauteed onions and garlic. If you have chicken in here, don't, like, don't blend the chicken. So then I'm gonna take everything and blend it together, whoa. I don't know if this is the best way to do it, this is just what I'm doing. So now the full mixture's in there. I'm gonna put our shredded chicken that we I made last night. Okay, out. okay, careful. No, you can just dump it. All right. Can you stir it for me? Yeah. Mm, does it look delicious? It looks creamy and delicious. Hold on, I need to turn on the heat. Hey guys, be quiet for a second, okay? Or at least stop fighting. You can talk, but don't fight. Thank you. Last ingredient before garnish is just a ton of spinach. Now you can sub in kale if you want to, but you just need to, it'll cook really fast, so just do it at the end. It's also really hard to do this when you're starving. So tomatoes, peppers. Do you just sprinkle them like this? Sure. Yeah, why not? So there we go, it took about 40 minutes. I'm gonna get a pretty bite for you. Mm, it is so good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. You know what would make this better is tortilla chips. So what would have been call this soup? Um, this is a tomatillo shredded chicken vegetable soup. 
that's all. I don't know how to else to outro it.